टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग यूरिन फॉर्मेशन एंड द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इन यूरिन फॉर्मेशन इज द यूरिन एक्सक्रीशन रेट टू अंडरस्टैंड द यूरिन एक्सक्रीशन रेट वी मस्ट नो हाउ यूरिन फॉर्मेशन बिगिन एंड हाउ द यूरिन एक्सक्रीशन स्टार्ट नाउ we know that urine formation basically begins at the level of nephrons and in each kidney there are thousands of nephrons the nephrons are basically grouped together in bundles known as the renal pyramids they are making the urine and the urine is collected in the minor calyces then it goes into the major calyces then the renal pelvis then the ureter and finally into the urinary bladder now if we grossly look at the kidney we cannot see the nephrons with the naked eye but when we enlarge one nephron the nephron look like this and thousands of such nephrons are connected together and they are making urine the blood is coming it is filtered at the bowman's capsule and then the filtrate moves through these tubules the proximal tubule the loop of henle the distal tubules and then the through the collecting ducts the urine is excreting at the renal papilla now how we are exactly going to calculate the urine excretion rate so the formation the urine formation basically begins at this level at the level of bowman's capsule and glomerulus so to understand how this formation begins we have enlarged this area we have enlarged this area now this is the bowman's capsule and this is the glomerulus and we have through this diagram simplified the whole process of urine formation so basically blood is coming through the afferent arteriole here it is filtered here and then the blood goes through the efferent arterioles and the filtrate basically moves through all the tubules so this thing has been summarized in this diagram the blood is entering through the afferent arterioles it is coming into the glomerulus which is a bunch of capillaries now due to the due to the pressure in the glomerulus the blood is filtered and the filtrate basically enters into the bowman's capsule the blood the remaining blood basically then goes back through the efferent arteriole through the efferent arteriole and then it makes another capillary network which is the peritubular capillaries and those peritubular capillaries they are also surrounding the tubules so these arterioles then they come and they surround these uh, tubules and they are known as the peritubular capillaries finally the peritubular capillaries enter the uh, venous system and ultimately in the renal vein now once the urine uh, sorry once the blood has been filtered this process is known as filtration process so the first step in the urine formation is filtration filtration occurs at the glomerulus at this level at this level and this area has been enlarged here so the blood comes here it is pressurized it is like squeezing the blood and due to which the plasma the filtrate comes out and it goes here into the bowman's capsule now this is the bowman's capsule now here is the tubule now here we can see the whole tubule has different parts the proximal tubule the loop of henle the distal tubule then the collecting ducts but here we have summarized quickly and we have basically simplified this diagram so once the fi the filtrate has entered the bowman's capsule and it has started moving through the tubules of the nephron what happens is that there are some substances which have been filtered here in the filtration process they get reabsorbed into these blood vessels in the peritubular capillaries so they go from the bowman's capsule or the tubules again into the peritubular capillaries this process is known as reabsorption so initially filtration occur then reabsorption occur and there are some substances some waste materials which have been filtered at this level but still those substances are present in the the blood the remaining component of those waste substances is still present in the blood and that component of the waste it may be any kind of waste which we are going to discuss further that what are those substances they may get they may get secreted again into these tubules so for example the filtration process has occurred here the filtrate is now moving through these tubules and these tubules are also surrounded by the blood vessels the peritubular capillaries these so some of the substances will move from the tubule into the peritubular capillaries this is known as the reabsorption filtration occurred here reabsorption is the movement of substances from the tubule into the peritubular capillaries but some of the substances will move even from the peritubular capillary into the tubule so this is known as the secretion and the remaining the remaining waste will get excreted it will get excreted in the form of urine so initially filtration occurs at this level then reabsorption occurs and at the same time same time secretion occur so filtration secretion of some substances and reabsorption of some substances and the whole process can be summarized the urine excretion rate can be summarized as urine excretion is equal to filtration rate minus reabsorption rate plus secretion rate so the rate of urine is the rate of urine excretion is determined by combining the filtration process the combining the filtration process of all the thousands of nephrons that are present in the whole of the kidney and then we will subtract the reabsorption 
because some of the substances are reabsorbed into the, the peritubular capillaries. And finally, we will aid secre secreted substances because some of the substances will be aided again into this filtrate. So the urine excretion rate will be filtration rate minus reabsorption rate plus secretion rate. So the urine formation begins at the level of nephrons. In the, in, inside the nephron, the, urine, uh, the blood is being filtered at the glomerulus, which is known as filtration. After the filtration, the filtrate keeps on moving through the tubules of the nephron. Some of the substances get reabsorbed into the blood vessels and some of the substances are secreted even after the filtration process. Secreted even after the filtration process into the tubule. And the whole process is summarized at, as urine excretion rate is equal to filtration minus reabsorption. Because if something is reabsorbed, so it is basically removed from the filtrate. So that component is subtracted and then something is added again. Something is added again. So addition of the secretion. So that's the whole equation for urine excretion rate. Thanks a lot for watching the video.